Hey, welcome to my hydrangea room. Now, this is a part of my garden behind an evergreen screen that is full of the different varieties of hydrangeas. I've got the big old white Incredible hydrangeas. I've got the pink hydrangeas, blue endless summer hydrangeas, purple hydrangeas, and everybody wants to know how and when do you prune hydrangeas. So here is the secret to pruning hydrangeas. You never have to prune them. If you don't mind them growing huge and large and flopping all over the ground, like these in my hydrangea room, don't worry about pruning them. They're gonna be great without any pruning. But if you wanna get snippy, let me show you some tips here. First of all, keep in mind, late summer, early fall, that is the time to shorten the stems of your large hydrangeas. Now, these are the big leaf hydrangeas, and what I do is I follow the stem all the way down to where the green stem meets a brown stem. That means I'm cutting off all the one-year-old wood. And by doing this, um, I am actually pruning the plant while I'm harvesting the blooms. Now you want to harvest the blooms because so many of these new hydrangeas, like the endless summer varieties, the more you cut, the more you get. So I just bring a bucket out and I continually harvest the blooms all fall along on my hydrangeas. They'll start to dry, they turn green. And then when I have a bucket of hydrangeas, I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna set this, uh, this plastic white bucket inside a woven basket. I'll use my cut hydrangeas on a basket that hangs on the wall near my front door. I'll use my hydrangeas in wreaths. I'll use them all sorts of ways because when you prune hydrangeas in the fall, the more you cut, the more you get. Now, if you forget, and you don't prune your hydrangeas at all, and then spring comes, look for when the forsythias are blooming. Early spring, when the forsythias are blooming, that's a time when you can also shorten your hydrangea shrubs. But don't worry too much, because you can let your hydrangeas bloom, flop all over, and just enjoy the color blue. Hey, stumped about what to do in your dry woodland shaded garden or your sunny garden? Well, Katie Christensen is coming up next and she is a sedum expert with some really creative ideas. Hello, I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre with Chef Natalie Thompson. Today we're going to make two recipes, pa am tomaquet, which is a bread and tomato, and panzanella salad, which is a bread and tomato salad. Mm -hmm. 